Hey guys and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. As y'all can see, sister girl is looking too cute. And I'll be showing you guys how I installed this gorgeous wig from your wigs hair company. I just had to be extra y'all. But they did send over this HD lace. Bomb is hell. Okay, guys. Nice was already bleached. Hairline was already pre-plugged. I did not have to do nothing but put this wig on, press it out, and style it. Like, I absolutely love wigs that are super duper convenient. And then everybody, you got to love HD lace. Like, it is one of the best laces out here today so i'm just showing you what this wig look like fresh out the box and i'm not going to alter this wig in any way shape or form all i'm going to do is go ahead and install this wig on my sister today so i went ahead and cut the lace off the back like i said all i did was flat iron this wig and i'm going to jump straight into installing this wig today now all i did was you know i put her cap on put her foundation I already cleaned her alcohol did the whole prep rundown and everything so i'm gonna jump straight into laying this wig down and i will be using um ruby kisses in level 15 i'm using the lightest shade and just applying that foundation all on um the inside of that lace on top as well because even though it's hd lace i still like to put that foundation color under there just to give it that extra disappearing of the lace effect onto the skin and hairline. So once I do that, I am going to begin to I, um, lay my layers, but I'm just showing you guys quickly what it looked like before I even apply the glue. And I'm just going to take my bold hold and apply four layers of this glue. And I'm just going to, you know, add my layers, smooth it completely out, allow it to dry, mostly clear. And then I will add, you know, the extra layers and so forth. And once that glue has turned completely clear, I will go ahead and begin to pull that lace down into that glue and show y'all the magic behind this HD lace wig. So after applying off four layers, I am now pulling that lace down into that glue, having her secure each side as I blow dry, mold, and shape that glue. I mean, as I mold and melt that glue into that lace. And I just absolutely like love HD wigs, as you guys already know, if you've been tuning into my channel. It's just like the best lace. And look how natural this hairline is. And like I said, I did not do any plucking whatsoever all i literally did was just take this wig out the box and install it and it is so freaking bomb.com i absolutely loved this wig and it was also full and i love wigs that are full so i was really really happy about that as well and for today um we're just gonna do like a side part at first we're gonna do a middle part but we're just like nah we're just gonna do the side like you know so you guys can really see like the hairline and stuff like that so um once i finish melting this lace on in on both sides i will begin to cut off the extra lace and you know tack down the corners that's still lifting and i did do things a little bit differently today so i would tell you exactly what i did differently in this video than from my, um, you know, my other installations. So stay tuned for that as well. Now I'm just going to go ahead and begin to cut that extra lace. And as you can see, even though I'm cutting that extra lace, you still cannot see where the lace stops and starts. And that's why I absolutely love 
HD lace because it blends so freaking perfect and just it gives you those really really flawless results so I'm gonna go ahead and you know cut off the extra lace around both sides of the wig um, around her ears and just tacking down you know anything that is still lifting and then I'm gonna do a like a two actually like a three step lace melting process today after I finish cutting off the extra lace and tacking everything down of course, you know, I will go ahead and spray my bed head across that hairline and mold everything down. And then once that um, is completely dry, I will remove that um, elastic band and comb that out. And then I will also go in with my Nairobi's mousse and apply that on the hairline and then tie that hairline down once again. And that will also help it melt even better and also give it that really soft, you know, like natural look. So you guys will see exactly what I mean once I get to that step. And I'm just loving how this wig is looking already, of course. So shout out to your wigs. Uh, make sure that you do, you know, use any coupon codes and everything. And the details to this wig will be in the description box. So make sure you check that out as well. I also have listed um, my most frequently used products for those who always want to know what I'm using, what brand, the names. Everything will be listed down below as well, so you can check that out as well. So as I mentioned, I will take that bed head and spray all over their hairline and it's already looking super duper natural. And I just had her tilt her hair back as I tied that down. And as I mentioned, once that dries completely, I will go ahead and remove that and then take my Nairobi Smooth and apply it on their hairline and then tie it again as well. And here is what this bomb install is looking like and this bomb wig is looking like after I did the bed head tie down method and then went in with the mousse method as well and tied it down like completely melted, completely natural looking, soft looking and I am just in love, uh, okay, absolutely in love. And as I mentioned, we were going to do a middle part at first, but we're just going to go in with the side part. Um, really no baby hair to be honest because I just loved how natural the hair looked period and that's just with the quality of the HD lace as well so I'm just going to do the basic you know um, styling for my side parts with the wax stick hot combing pressing out and everything like that and let me know what you guys think about this installation I absolutely loved it I love the quality of this lace wig like I cannot stress that enough like this wig was really really bomb and convenient it was not a lot of work that i had to do before actually installing which is very good if, especially if you are a beginner and you're not really good with plucking or bleaching knots like this is the perfect wig for you because all you have to do is just really add your foundation and lay your wig down whether you are doing it glueless or with the glue you can still achieve those flawless results just using my glueless technique um, to install your wig or even with my glued installment technique you should still get like the perfect bomb results so I'm just going to hot comb those roots out on this wig and you already know I uh, applied my wax stick and I'm just going to press everything out to my liking I am going to add just like one little swoop on the side and that will pretty much you know that will pretty much sum up the whole installation but stay tuned for the finishing uh, for the finishing results. So let me know what you guys think. 
And I just want to mention, if you are new to my channel and you've been watching but you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and click that subscribe button now and turn on those bells because I have so many videos lined up waiting to public for you. So you don't want to miss out. Okay? Okay. So stay tuned. Keep watching and let me know what y'all think about this install.